So it's exactly 12.50 a.m. on Friday, October 6th. And uh, I just had to open the door to my unit and step out into the hallway because there has been an insane amount of smoke, fumes, and odors filling my entire living space from the bathroom of Unit 78. And there are absolutely no fumes or odors anywhere in this hallway, anywhere in this area. The fumes and odors are absolutely not coming from the hallway, and they never do. As I keep reporting, they come from the bathroom of Unit 78. You can actually smell it like right here in this corner. So the fumes are always coming from someplace behind this wall right here in this corner, which is um, Unit 78. It's vacant and empty. Um, there's not anybody living in that unit. And uh, maintenance confirmed that it is vacant and empty. They were in my unit last week. So the fumes and odors are coming from the bathroom of Unit 78. And they have been filling this entire area right here around my kitchen sink and in my bathroom since sometime mid-evening when I was sleeping on my bed and was awoken by this intense and nonstop propagation of sickening odors, fumes, smoke and stink filling this entire area right here. The smoke and stink never come from the hallway. Nobody smokes outside of my door in the hallway for hours at a time. They'd have to have a bonfire in order to fill this entire corner right here all the way to the window with intense and overpowering fumes that are so strong they actually wake me up out of a sound sleep. So this is just to um, prove that there's no fumes or odors out in the hallway because I have to keep the door to the hallway open for ventilation. And if the fumes and odors were actually coming from the hallway, I wouldn't be able to keep the door open for ventilation. I would have to close the door. So right now, the window behind the shade is open two feet. There's no screen, so I've actually had to close the shade. But this is how wide open the window is. And I can stick my hand all the way out the window. As you can see, there's no screen. So I'm touching the outside of the wall of this building right here. And I've had to keep this window wide open just to ventilate the space. Starting at around 11 this evening, I was forced awake by just these nonstop intense and overpowering fumes and stink and smoke, literally filling this entire corner right here from the bathroom of 78. And the, the uh, former resident of Unit 78, who lived in Unit 78 for nine of the last 10 years, is a psychotic sex offender, malignant stalker, and very disturbed psychopath who, according to the Greenville group, specializes in, quote, surveillance and who can also hack into anything, according to their bragging comments to me when I was complaining to them about the fact that she seems to remotely disable my uh, electronic devices when I try to use them to report her aggressive behavior against this wall. So vacant and empty Unit 78 has been vacant and empty for over a year now, according to the Greenville Group, and they keep it vacant and empty. I, I don't know why. Um, there's an affordable housing crisis in Boston, and the fact that the Greenville Group continues to keep Unit 78 completely empty, even though Jorge, the maintenance manager, hasn't stayed there in two months, that's a real concern. I think they're doing it deliberately to permit the homicidal psychopath registered sex offender and cyber criminal named Jasmine Irizarry to continue her stalking, her harassment, and her harmful, intrusive behavior towards me from directly against this wall, as she has been engaging in during the entire 10 years that she's lived in this building. I think that Greenville is working hand in hand with this homicidal psychopath and registered sex offender to do everything that they can to physically harm me and to disrupt what I need to do in this unit uh, because they just want me to move out. This has been going on since 2013. They moved her into that unit in 2013 just after a court case that they filed against me had to be dropped for lack of cause. The fact that I continue to live in this unit in spite of the Greenville Group's repeated attempts at um, you know, engaging in unlawful legal activity towards me, such as retaliatory evictions, uh, baseless evictions, etc., I, nobody should be surprised that they're using the services of a homicidal psychopath and a cyber criminal to try to engage in all kinds of harm towards me um, because they've been trying to get rid of me for 10 years. And they have a case against me in court right now, which I actually have to go to court for in the morning. That could explain the aggressively disruptive psychotic stalking behavior 
nonstop smoke and fumes and the use of some type of remote controlled stun gun that the psychopath who sits behind this wall for hours has been using over the last few hours. And that forced me awake at 11 p.m. this evening when I was sleeping very soundly just before that. So again, the fumes and odors are not coming from the hallway. I have the door to the hallway wide open right now for ventilation. And there's absolutely no odors or fumes anywhere in this hallway, aside from along the wall of the unit of 78, where the front stairwell um, shares a wall with unit 78. There you can smell something. So that means there's somebody in that unit. I don't think it's Jorge. I was told that he's in Brazil right now. So whoever's in unit 78 right now is probably not supposed to be in there, but they're continually smoking behind that wall anyway, because obviously they're criminally insane and their behavior is totally off the rails, um, psychotic, psychotic. 